good afternoon to everyone. A warm welcome to all the participants to the post results are call of our company. I am with my colleagues, Mr. M. V. Reddy and Mr. Nathan Kapra and SGA, our investor relations advisors. The results and investors presentations are kept on the half year in 24 are already loaded on our company website in stock exchange. I hope we had a nice chance to look at it. I am pleased to share with you that we have reported a healthy set of numbers for the quarter with a top line registering about 10.6% year on year growth. Our top line performance was in line with the <coughs> previously indicated quarterly guidance. EBITDA margins also came in at a healthy 22%. Our order means continue to be healthy. So we have booked about 405 crores for the quarter in this quarter which comprises of about 115 crores from radars, 233 crores from ULB segments, 9 crores from telemetry, 19 crores from space, uh, rupees 26 crores from exports and rest from metrology and hydrology sectors. Overall order book at the end of half year stands at uh, 1867 crores, with the majority being domestic orders. At the organizational side, I wish to inform you that we have strengthened the board with the election of uh, Mr. Suresh Sumani as a non executive director and Mr. S. Varadarajan as an independent director. Mr. Sumani has wide experience in the capital market and management areas. Apart from his, uh, apart from this, uh, his associates hold good stake in the company. Mr. Varadarajan is a retired director of LRD and he has a distinguished experience in the data domain, which we hope is going to help us also in a bigger way. Coming to the specific numbers of uh, standalone performance in Q2, as mentioned earlier, year on year growth we have recorded about 10.6%. The revenue is stood at uh, 189 crores, as against 171 crores. Sequentially, we had an even better performance regarding 42% growth. <laughs> There are other uh, various indicators which I have already presented in the interest presentation which I request you to go through. Uh, one uh, important uh, information which I want to share with you is uh, the improvement in the margins is largely because of the change in the product mix already during the quarter, uh, which is uh, skewed uh, more towards the industry. We continue to have similar kind of performance in the coming two quarters. We also would like to reaffirm our guidance of uh, year end guidance of 900 to 950 crores with a BBT of about 140 to 150 crores. Uh, to achieve these numbers, uh, we are planning to exceed about 200 to 300 crores in Q3 and the rest will come in Q4 so that the annual guidance can be met. As I mentioned, since uh, major sales in the next two quarters will be from the domestic, we are confident to deliver a reasonably good margin in the coming future. As stated earlier, our government of India's initiatives to foster local manufacturing as well as raise in the transfer of technology activities by DRD and ISRO would benefit companies like Astra. Further, we have been taking steps to move in the value chain, uh, moving from subsystem to a system vendor. We have identified uh, specific growth areas for future expansion such as aircraft systems, wind profile radars, ground surveillance radars, doctor weather radars, and anti drone, and so on. Apart from this, uh, uh, specific uh, business related updates which I would like to share with you. Apart from uh, bragging about 405 crores of orders in the quarter, we were able to close PNCs for the about 11 crores and waiting to receive orders for the same very soon. Company has signed a DOT uh, with the uh, space NSIL for expand NSR, which we hope will help us in terms of uh, uh, getting into the uh, defense radars apart from the space related radars in a bigger way. And we do uh, radar, which we, we kept on sharing with you the developments in the last two quarters 
which is being developed with the LRE technology, is in the final stage of testing. We expect to start the field trials by the end of this year. Navic ship uh, approval form approval is still waiting. Uh, unfortunately, there are some uh, technical issues to be resolved, which is taking time, and we keep you informed the development on this front. The joint venture company has done very well. Uh, the pending export licenses were, were received by the company in the last quarter. It was able to ship about 50 crores of uh, goods in the last quarter, and as a result, the company has done profitable. It is expected to about 110 to 150 crores of business for the whole year, with a good amount of profit. Again, uh, relating to the joint venture company, the SCR Manpack, which we are developing under the NCNC program, has successfully completed the first trials of NCNC, and it is waiting for the final trials and opportunity first quarter of next year. With this, I will hand over to Mr. Ramy Reddy and later on to Mr. Akin Prabhra to share with you the first further developments in the company. Thank you. Thank you, very much. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. As it was stated in our last learning call, uh, we have made a good beginning with the performance of Q2, both in terms of order book as well as sales. We would like to reiterate that uh, we have good visibility to meet our guidance for the rest of the two quarters also. Out of 409 crores back in Q2, uh, 383 crores were booked from the domestic market and majority comes from the uh, core sector that is radar and electronic warfare segment. Shazir so, had already given you a breakup of uh, the domestic sector order book. We are also pleased to inform that uh, we that few strategically important R&D projects like development of imaging radar uh, for DRDO and also supply of satellite EW payload subsystem for the DRDO based uh, satellite system. And rest are all in production in nature. We also have been awarded with uh, uh, project sanction orders for development of radars under make two category for military and meteorology applications. And also we have participated in few RFPs and responded to RFIs to supply CDS and other systems. With regard to sales, we have uh, ramped up our domestic sales and Q2 and will further get improved in coming quarters. Our JVC, uh, as well as our companies, has backed with strategically important contracts in last quarter worth of almost $45 million to deliver software design radios for the Indian Army uh, and also for the Indian Air Force through a DPS HA in the current year. And actively pursuing more opportunities in the domain of tactical communications and electro optics. That's all from my side. I would like to happy to answer your questions. And now I hand over to Mr. Atin Kobra to share his thoughts. Thank you. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, Mr. Atim. Uh, happy Diwali to all of you. Uh, since we last spoke, the world is further in turmoil. October 7th saw the Israel-Hamas conflict shake the world and further shatter the illusion of relative peace and calm which had come to define the second half of previous century. Uh, my idea here is to give you a direction on where we are going and what is our thought process and how it is being defined in the current context. Because the asymmetrical nature of warfare and the blurring of lines between civilians and professional combatants has further la marred the landscape which had already seen drone-based warfare and its uh, derivatives, profoundly changed the entire history of warfare tactics. I mentioned this in the context of electronics-based warfare emerging as a central pillar around which the theater of war will converge. And we are a player in this area. I saw the results of BAE systems a few days back. And it was interesting to see that defensive sectors are emerging as growth drivers in the economy, even in the U.S. I'm sure you are equally impressed with most of us by the significant increase in our order book this year. We have an order book in excess of, I think, 2,300 crores driven by significant changes in the defense acquisition policy that we are all conversant with. 
I am very hopeful that we will continue to see positive numbers coming in from our traditional tender-based businesses as we detailed in our presentations during our QIP. And as we go along, SGR and MBR will be adding more color to this. In my previous analyst meet updates, we have spoken about us exploring various adjacencies to our core businesses for we wish to diversify our order book mainly from a tender-based approach. Towards that, as I detailed earlier, we have been working on a few solutions which could be branded as ASPA solutions. Uh, though I must admit that the search for defining such solutions often takes a backseat to the business exigencies at hand, wherein our current order book being translated into sales has to be clearly prioritized. However, we hope to have one of our solutions ready before the end of the year. This would not only have a domestic order base, but also will put us on the international map with a semi off the shelf product which can be marketed to the rest of the world. It is equally critical to put concepts being explored on the slow burner if margins and suitability to the market is hazy, while we delve deeper into specific opportunities. As we have gone about defining our solutions, we have explored a few of our initial concepts being explored where we found significant competition and non-existence of a deep moat for our products. So our focus has been on margin-enhancing businesses rather than low-margin, high-volume businesses. So one of the skill sets we explored was our MMIC chip design, chip design division, which you are very well aware has been one of the core strengths of ASHA. We have been at it since 2005 and have built in a deep expertise in MMIC chip design. So our learning was that MMIC is best suited for defense applications and regular commercial chip design is a completely different ballgame, a different skill set where we would have to deploy a significant amount of capital and resources. So we've explored and dwelled deeper into our MMIC sense. We have tried to explore how we can build our capabilities in our it's already existent in our 100% owned Singapore subsidiary, as well as work on a larger format with our clients, both existing and potential future clients. I'm glad to report that at this juncture, we have significant interest from a few select clients towards enhancing significantly their offtake from us and jointly developing some more capabilities. The key is here to achieve this profitably and optimally without stretching our working capital while we would love to partake in the proceeds of the jointly developed and marketed products for the long term. So loyalties. And this concept is quite appealing as it gives us both scalability as well as profitability in a deep motive business. So if this joint venture or uh, if this not a joint venture actually if this association comes about it will be a very significant uh, achievement for our MMIC uh, division, uh, and we hope to keep you posted on this. Likewise, as was just mentioned, our FL JV ARC is doing quite well, and we will be profitable this year. And uh, as, as the order books and execution capabilities pick up there, we should see a uh, significant flow of business to the parent company, uh, to us. Uh, lastly, I need to highlight the induction of the two new directors on our board, as uh, Isia has mentioned. Mr. Vardarajan is a very well-respected scientist with multiple accomplishments to his credit. While Suresh further strengthens the equity owner's presence on the board of the company and with its multiple attendant benefits. With this, I will hand you over to my colleagues to talk to you and walk you further. Thanks. Guys, over to you. Yeah. Uh, let us start the question and answers. Thank you very much. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handset while asking a question. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we'll wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. First question is from the line of Amit Dixit from ICICI Securities. Please go ahead. Mr. Dixit, your line is unmuted. Please go ahead. Hello, we are not able to hear Amit. Uh, Mr. Amit, your voice is not audible. As there is no response from the current questioner, we will move to the next question from the line of Venkatesh Subramaniam from Logic Tree Consultant Private Limited. Please go ahead. Yes, uh, good morning to all of you. Uh, season greetings, happy Deepavali. Uh, and uh, congratulations on a very good set of numbers. Sir. Um, I have basically three questions, uh, you know, taking off from what you said. One is, uh, in terms of what we are pursuing, and in the past times, just we've been talking about uh, broadly looking at the top line revenue in excess of 8,000 odd crores over a period of time at a run rate of approximately 2,000 crores. That is one. But to achieve that kind of number, we would need to have an order build up over the next 18 months to have a visibility for, say, four to five years. Um, do we have some sort of a blueprint to get there? That's one question. Second question is, sir, which is uh, with respect to NAVIC, I was reading the, one of the recent interviews of Rajiv Chandrasekhar, the minister, honorable minister, saying NAVIC could be mandatory in a lot of devices. In NAVIC, are we a pure play or do you think uh, we have competition out there and we will only get a piece of the pie? That's the second. And third question is, uh, NMIC, how big can this opportunity be in terms of, say, over a five, six year period of time if things work out for you? And you said you're uniquely positioned in the different application side. And uh, one suggestion on the fourth one is, sir, uh, if we are doing a little bit of crystal ball gazing over the next five to seven years, uh, where would our revenue set broadly come from? In, whether it would be in terms of domestic tenders, would it, would it be other um, services and activities as uh, Atim mentioned, or would it be exports, would it be NMIT, some sort of crystal ball gazing or a fight to three will give us an idea where the company is headed to in various strategic segments. And also it would be helpful because the union elections are coming up and uh, if different tendering, Asmanir bar, all that takes a backseat for some reason, then we will have a plan B in executing revenues over a period of time. That's it from my side. Yeah, I think uh, you take a couple of questions on NAVIC and MMIC, then we will take the rest. Sure. Uh, then, in, mm, there are two ways to look at NAVIC, right? You can be the basic chip supplier, or you can look at being a value-added uh, supplier. NAVIC is still some time away, just to be very uh, upfront about this, so, number one. Number two, there are... Uh, you know, METI has given the contract to two entities uh, on this uh, to develop the chip uh, uh, within the country. One was ours and the other is an entity called Accord. Uh, and we did it in a joint uh, effort along with uh, uh, another partner where we own 50% of the IT. Uh, so it's not exclusive to us, number one. Uh, we believe there's another entity by the name of Elena Geosystem, which uh, which has made some claims about this. We don't know much about this for you guys to explore. Uh, so we, our strategy would hinge around uh, the having the processor combined with the RF front end, um, and then creating some modules around it. So we can be a value-added supplier in the Navic space. So that would be the broad strategy, and I and I'm reiterating this is still a few years away to the bare minimum. Uh, we recently met uh, some very senior government uh, official, uh, ex-government official, and it was reiterated that uh, the intention is there to completely support the ecosystem, but it must take some more time. For the product to be developed. The good thing is we are soft coded, 
which means our products can actually be multiple uh, positioning systems. So we can do GPS, come navig, navig, come GPS, or for that matter, we can code in Baidu also, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I hope that answers uh, the question on uh, navig. Uh, the MMIT part, which I would like to address here, is guys, we are looking at um, uh, creating a portfolio of MMIC product, wherein a few states, a few products from our existing uh, uh, sale portfolio can be picked up uh, by our marketing partners, while we develop a mid-term quick reaction uh, product for them jointly. And at the same time, in parallel, we beef up our capabilities in MMIC to create products over the long term, which could be one to two years. Right? I would, uh, you know, let's say, you know, we are looking at at least seven to ten times. Uh, maybe that's aggressive. Okay. Um, over the five years that you spoke about. Okay. But we definitely are looking at about, uh, you know, 3x, 4x of the current MMIC portfolio in, uh, in, a, in a few years' time. Now, that, interestingly enough, that would imply uh, creating a long sale of royalty, uh, which should come in uh, if, our, if our current efforts are successful and translate into a business opportunity. Uh, and that's predicated to uh, dotting the I's and cutting the T's in our final agreements, which are going to be done. So, uh, it's, you know, we'll keep you posted as this happens, but this is a long, the, the long vision which you guys are looking for. Uh, is it? Yeah. So, the other part, uh, in terms of uh, the visibility for the company for the next uh, three to five years, as we have mentioned in uh, multiple interactions uh, with uh, many of you, basically we are looking at uh, the uh, the overall pie that is available in the areas where we are there in terms of the radar, GWs, missiles and telemetry, space, exports, and turnkey projects and special projects. We see a visibility of uh, in excess of about uh, 39,000 crores up to year 2030. So this uh, this visibility we have split up into three parts where we see a, a definite opportunity for Astra, uh, maybe on a single tender or a preferred tender basis, about 5,000 crores of opportunity. There are other two segments where there is a limited competition and a severe competition, where the success rate we are achieving at about uh, 30 to 40 percent, where there is a median competition, and about 10 to 15 percent where it's severe competition. If you take all these uh, three parameters and uh, looking at the products, uh, what I have indicated, uh, we see a visibility of uh, business in excess of about 8,000 to 10,000 crores. Uh, that is what we can say as of today. So that would be uh, translating broadly to a run rate of about 2,000 crore approximately per annum, sir, going forward broadly. Yeah, that is how we see it, uh, and basing on that only, we have projected a cumulative turnover of about 8,000 crores by the year 2007-2008. Uh, yeah, as of today, that is how that is the visibility what we have uh, internally. Got it, sir. Got it. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, my last question was that the in terms of the various segments that we have, exports, NMIC, NAVIC, domestic tenders, other, like you said, limited competition and the serious competition. Um, if, uh, is it possible, I don't need an answer right now, sir, but in the future, is it possible that we can say that to achieve that, in, if I do a crystal ball gaze five years down the line, what would the company look like in terms of various segments based on your internal workings? Yeah, probably we can exchange the information uh, offline, but immediately whatever I can share with you, this is what I can uh, uh, talk to you right now. Perfectly, sir. This is very good enough, sir. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. 
before we move to the next question, a reminder to the participant, anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and 1. Next question is from the line of Hitanshu Bhatia from Gandhi Securities and Investment Private Limited. Please go ahead. Hi sir, I just needed a few updates. So the delay in the approval for marriage chip, is it because we have some new observations that we have been facing or is it a delay from the regulatory side? And uh, roughly, I mean, by when can we expect uh, progress on that front? No, there is no regulatory aspect. Uh, ultimately, whatever uh, CP is designed, it is to be approved by ASAC. So, there are certain observations uh, given by them. Uh, the Manjira, which is our partner who is working on that, is uh, trying to address those issues. And that is where the delay is happening. So, uh, in the last quarter, uh, it was like some, we would have, we were uh, expecting to address those observations by within a week or so in the first week of September. So, yeah, that is what, uh, that is the reason why I use the word unfortunately. Okay. So, somehow now it is going in cycles. And that is the reason why now in this call, I don't want to commit any day. But the only hitch is uh, some of the observations, uh, the technical side, it is taking time to address. So, roughly, can we expect within the next quarter or so? Hopefully, uh, that is what uh, our partner has given to us. Uh, so, we are hopeful that uh, it will be done. And sir, with regards to the NCNC trials which were scheduled in October, November and which we were preparing for for the SPR manufacturer, so any updates on that, sir? Yeah, as I mentioned in my uh, uh, opening remarks, uh, it has gone through successfully in the first trial, which is called UTRR. Okay, so only three companies have gone through that successfully. RP is one, one, one company. Now the final trials are awaited. Uh, it is uh, scheduled as of today in the first quarter of uh, next year. Okay, okay. Thanks a lot. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Next question is from the line of Golsar J.P. Adam from Mount Indra Finance Limited. Please go ahead. Good morning, sir. Congratulations for the good numbers and happy day to all of you. I also uh, congratulate Mr. Samani and uh, the director. <clears throat> so, my question is uh, firstly about the order book. In the presentation, you mentioned about uh, 1867 crore of order, but I just heard something back about 2300 crore of order. So, is the difference because of the consolidator order book or have you seen anything after the Sorry, September that uh, there is an increase of about 450 here, which is uh, first question. Second is about the ETA radar. Can you give an update uh, when we expect an order, especially in, in view of the upgradation of HC30, which has now been approved? Do we see SRR radar being employed there or any other traction we have for the SRR? Yeah, the order book uh, number mentioned by Atim is inclusive of uh, the joint venture company, which is a consolidated order book, whereas whatever numbers I spoke about is the standalone. Uh, the other part, no, is the radar. I request uh, MV to share the ideas. I mean, update. We are talking about um, SR radar, that is Uttam radar. Uh, it, it is the radar we are talking about. We are expecting soon, you know, production order from HAA. Uh, for the you know uh, first series of uh, limited production, and another question you asked about the true uh, We we are waiting for the you know uh, uh, RFPs to be out from DRDO, and we are actively working on that particular uh, opportunity also. Uh, just a follow-up question: Do we have do we see any competition in this uh, from the lab or is it or the new observation or is more like a Confirm sort of who Uttam. Yeah, for Uttam and its variants, as of today, we are the only player. But in future, we never know that some companies may come out in competition. But as of today, we are the major supplier of uh, the uh, radar portion in that uh, segment. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, to ask a question, you may press star and one. Next question is from the line of Amit Dixit from ICICI Securities. Please go ahead. 
Yeah, thanks a lot for taking my question. I have uh, two questions actually. The first one is on slide number 32, where you have indicated the opportunity size uh, of Uttam Radar for various platforms. Now, uh, is it possible to let us know that, you know, a lot of, uh, uh, I mean, the media articles suggest that Tejas Mark 1A, for instance, there could be additional order of 97 numbers uh, and so on. So, uh, this opportunity size that you have mentioned for Tejas Mark 1A, uh, for how many numbers it is, for pages mark to how many numbers, if you can just uh, let us know, so that we are at least abreast of, you know, uh, if any future orders come, then we can uh, have it in our estimate. Yeah, uh, we are considering the, uh, in the existing lot of LCA1 production, uh, we are expecting at least 440 plus numbers uh, for the indigenous Uttam Rada. Uh, that is a figure we have considered, and apart from that, the additional sanction of 1907 numbers also we have taken it up. For LCA mark, as of today, we have not considered uh, any uh, figure, uh, because we are waiting for the panel configuration to be decided for that platform. Okay, so we have considered 440 numbers of Uttam Radar, including the, uh, including the 97 This is the uh, uh, Mark 1 and also there are other variants like MCO, uh yeah. version. So there will be many variants of this. Okay, okay. Uh, the second question is essentially, uh, I think you covered it in uh, the answer to earlier participants. Uh, for uh, Sukhoi uh, upgrade, there is this Viru Paksha Radar that has been talked about. Now, uh, what components are we supplying in that, and uh, is, uh, is the value uh, per um, radar be very different from Tejas Mahasane? Uh, discussions are going on in DRDO. As of today, they have not finalized the configuration yet, but uh, yes, uh, there will be likely, you know, uh, put some variant maybe it may going, but as of, uh, as of today, the configuration is still, you know, the, the, not being finalized. I think discussions are going on. Maybe I think in a couple of months' time we will come to know about that. And we are the only player there, or discussions are going on with several players at this point? No. Uh, for, uh, if it is a different con if it is a configuration, uh, you know, if it is different from Utsam, then we will have a competition from other players also. But if it is uh, similar to Utsam, then I think we are the only one as of now. Okay, so the last one from my side, uh, are we affected in any way by this Israel-Palestinian conflict, either in terms of supply chain or in terms of uh, our exports? Uh, as of now, uh, we don't see any major uh, issues in supply chain, uh, but yes, going forward, it all depends on how far this war goes on and uh, how that the local industry gets affected. But uh, as of today, when we discuss with our partners, this is in current control. Uh, so with that, we just only we are moving ahead. Okay, that's very helpful. Thank you and all the best. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Before we move to the next question, a reminder to the participant, anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one. Next question is from the line of Yug Mehta from AP Capital. Please go ahead. Yeah, thank you for the opportunity. Sir, our margins are looking good despite of 48% export contribution to the top line. I understand that this is because of two different types of export orders. One is a direct export order, order with low margin profile and other one is uh, has a better margin. Would it be possible for you to give further bifurcation of both of these export orders individually? You, you have both question and answers in your question. Anyway, uh, out of 72 crores, what we booked in sales in Q2, uh, close to 65 crores are uh, the deemed exports, which is being supplied to a joint venture, and the 5 crores are direct exports to the our partner. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, my uh, next question, uh, next question, can you uh, throw some color where uh, where are we on our various projects that we wanted to pursue with QIP proceeds? Um, I didn't, I didn't get you. Uh, come again. Yeah. Uh, can you uh, throw some colors on uh, where are we in, uh, now with our various pro projects that we wanted to pursue with QIP proceeds? Yeah, uh, we have taken up uh, multiple projects, uh, you know, development. Uh, 
to address the requirement for military application and as well as for the metallurgy application. And uh, we we have started uh, some development of few critical uh, you know MMIC chipsets also as Mr. Sathya had mentioned in the opening remarks. So all this development has been started and uh, it is actually proceeding. Right now, today we don't have a clear, uh, you know, breakup of what exactly the project, how much we have invested in that particular amount. Okay, okay. thank you. That's our comment. Yeah. Thank you. A reminder to the participant: anyone who wishes to ask a question, we press star and one. Next question is from the line of Ketan Gandhi from Gandhi Securities. Please proceed. Yeah, hi, sir. Uh, in Project Kus and uh, Project Virupaksha, uh, basically uh, we are into gang-based uh, radar. And I believe uh, nobody in India has the capability as do we have. So, what is your thought on that? See, I would say we have capability, but I can't say other capability uh, unless, you know, uh, we see the real uh, war, like, you know, the gender and, uh, you know, participation. Until we get the contract on hand, we cannot comment on somebody's capability. But as of today, again, I reiterate, we have capability of building the gang-based CR module as well as the radar. Excellent, sir. Sir, I just uh, couldn't understand uh, what you said about the SDR men pack for army. Are we in or, I mean, where do we uh, stay? I, I just missed that. Yeah, sorry we to are, repeat, but... Uh, yeah, we are very much in. Uh, as Mr. J.S.G. has mentioned, we have completed that UTRRR trial successfully. Only three companies out of eight got, uh, you know, uh, got through in that trial. We are among one of them. So, final trials are being scheduled sometime in uh, January and February. So, I think once it gets through, probably they will be going the rate of this particular tender. Sir, is it possible to share the other two competitors' name? No, we can't share. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next question is from the line of Shantanu Chatterjee from Mount Intra Finance Private Limited. Please proceed. Thank you very much for this opportunity, sir, and the congratulations for great better number. Uh, my question is on your CapEx cycle, sir. Uh, uh, can you uh, share that what kind of CapEx uh, uh, that will happen in the next couple of years? And uh, uh, second one is on the working capital days. Your working capital days is hovering around 250 days. So, what is your guidance going forward in the next uh, one year or uh, next couple of years, sir? In terms of the capex, uh, uh, as mentioned in our annual report, uh, we are spending about 45 crores in the next uh, 12 months. Uh, mostly, this is all to augment the existing operations uh, to a large extent. Then, in terms of the working capital. Uh, see, working capital is going to be intense and uh, probably the number, whatever you have stated, uh, it may be around 250 to 270 days. Uh, I don't see any other uh, uh, way of reducing that number. So it continues to be very working capital intensive. Okay. And sir, on, on, on the margin front, uh, can you maintain this, uh, your guidance that it will remain on the vicinity of 20% or it will uh, increase from here onwards as your product mix will change going forward? There will be some improvement, uh, but I don't see significant improvement from uh, Q2 numbers, whatever we have uh, achieved. But uh, it is going to be an improvement uh, from this one, but it is not going to be very significant. Maybe, see, the PVT level, I think we are around 17 and a half kind of thing. Probably it can go up to 18, 18.5 uh, by the end of the year. That is how I look at the numbers. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Participant to ask a question, you may press star and one. Ladies and gentlemen, anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one.
Next question is from the line of Karthi from Suyash Advisors. Please go ahead. Uh, on the SDR part, are the SDRs will be in the joint venture or will it be in the parent entity, sir? It will be in the joint venture. So, so one question, sir, you know, uh, last week spoke, we were uh, talking about slightly higher dispatch numbers for the joint ventures, but uh, now we are guiding for a lower number. So, if I may ask you, what is the biggest constraint uh, in terms of getting export licenses? Export licenses have been received, that is what I mentioned. Yes. Okay, now, like any other product, here also there are some technical issues that are there. So, probably the deliveries may be a little uh, slow in the next, uh, up to the end of the financial year. Hmm. Opportunity is there to improve on those numbers, but as of today, the indication is that uh, probably it can be a top line now, but not in terms of any particular. Right, right. Because originally you were planning to ship more than 200 crores, if I remember correctly. Exactly, even today that is a target, but uh, we see some technical challenges apart from that now, because of this uh, uh, war in Israel. There is a problem in terms of the people traveling. Oh, okay. They have to come in and address those technical issues. That is another opportunity which has come in. Okay. Because of that, uh, there, is some, uh, there is some delay. Otherwise, there are no issues. Okay. Okay. Sure. So, thanks very much for an extremely uh, inspiring commentary. So, best wishes. Yeah. Thank you. Participant to ask a question, you may press star and one. As there are no further questions from the participant, I would now like to hand the conference over to the management for the closing comments. Yes, yeah, thank you everyone for participating and uh, having a good uh, conversation. And look forward to talk to you again at the end of the uh, third quarter. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, everybody. On behalf of Astra Microwave Products Limited, that concludes this conference. Thank you all for joining us, and you may now disconnect your lines.